Lynn Ulrich. Oh, cheers, right off the bat, look at that. There's nothing like a cold Berg Vermont martini here at Venture Outdoors, ironically indoors. I know. We're but uh, where you are the executive director. I am, I am. How is that going? It's going really well, it's yep. going well. Doing lots of fun things this summer. Do you get out of the office? I have to assume we're running an uh, operation called Venture Outdoors. I do, yeah. yes. I get out on um, our programs of hiking, biking, kayaking. Um, I'm fortunate, so. Uh, I really can't be stressed because you're supposed to, that's a way to de-stress. So of course, I have to make sure that I'm always de-stressed. I need to way. get into that because mm -hmm. a lot of times it's stressful for me. Bugs, heat, <laughs> sunburn, you know. I, di I didn't get this lovely pale complexion from <laughs> venturing outdoors. But I, I think maybe I need to look into that and you can help me. We could, we that. could help you, yeah. So what exactly is Venture Outdoors. Venture Outdoors is a um, nonprofit organization that has been around since 2001 here in Pittsburgh. We're very fortunate that the region has had this for so long. And we um, basically what we do is we connect people with the outdoors. Hmm. And so we make it easy for folks to get outdoors. Um, so things like making sure you have sunscreen and you're dressed appropriately when you hike or bike. Um, that if you're going out kayaking, you're, you've got your um, life jacket, your PFD on, um, and you're out there safely. So we offer um, all kinds of programs that include, and, and programs in the wintertime as well. So we do oh. um, cross-country skiing, snowshoeing in the winter, we do geocaching programs, um, and we really make it simple for you. So if you're brand new to the outdoors, this is the way you want to do it. So if you're trying, thinking, oh, I'd like to experiment and learn how to kayak, um, coming out with us makes it really easy. So are you kind of like a travel agent for recreation in the Pittsburgh area? Is so, it kind yeah, of like we're, that? we're sort of a concierge for that. <laughs> okay, no, that makes sense to me. Um, because there's a lot of different locations, there's a lot of things going on, and it's interesting, too, that... You know, you, you imagine outdoorsing and it's, you know, out in the mountains or out in the woods or something. But here, this is happening in Pittsburgh, a city, mm -hmm. uh, but yet there's so many things to do outside in nature settings. Is that unusual? Is Pittsburgh unique in that sense? Well, Pittsburgh certainly has wonderful green spaces mm -hmm. within the area. Um, and we also are throughout the county and even a little bit into southwestern PA. We do some things in the Laurel Highlands as well. But, um, but the most of the programs that are happening, that happen here in the city, are really geared towards those individuals that want to start to learn or explore their neighborhood mm -hmm. or a neighborhood maybe that they've heard about but haven't been to before. And so we can take them, travel with them through that neighborhood and um, through hiking or a biking program that really um, not just teaches them the activity, but allows them to learn about that neighborhood or the nooks and crannies that maybe not everybody is familiar with. So what's a nook and cranny that not everybody might be familiar <laughs> with? Well, um, one right that's very not, not very far from our office at all is um, Emerald View Park. Uh -huh. And it's a park that literally, when you look at the um, landscape on Mount Washington, mm -hmm. and you can see the inclines, there's trails that lead all the way up behind through all the way to Grandview, um, Grandview Avenue. So, and they, they go all different directions and it's, it's a great way to learn. It's a beautiful way to see the, the cityscape for sure. Yeah, and I imagine you get quite a workout, mm -hmm. you know, hiking up that That's mountain. Right. So see, we've never thought, well, I mean, I've never thought of Mount Washington as a venture outdoors, mm -hmm. but uh, it certainly is. So, yeah. that, so you're unlocking these little secrets and mysteries to Pittsburgh, right. Right. Uh, really adding more layers of how we can enjoy it. Just when I thought I had it all covered, <laughs> I know I can hike Mount Washington now. That's right. That's great. That's right. And kayaking, of course, you're very course, involved yes. in what's going on mm -hmm. in the rivers. Right. So we uh, own and operate Kayak Pittsburgh. So the yellow kayaks that you see on the rivers um, are run through Venture Outdoors. And we operate, um, we start in May, and we operate usually through the end of September, um, sometimes into the beginning of October, mm -hmm. we run that program. And um, you can rent a kayak. Um, they're solos in tandem, so if you're not quite comfortable doing it on your own, you can take a buddy with you. Well, what's really, okay, for somebody that's never been in a kayak before, what's like the technique? What's like the most important thing to know? Because you kind of got to get like a, you do, you have a to left, get a right kind you of thing. You do need to get a rhythm, and we always tell people, because people want to keep everything close to yeah. their vest, sort of, I get it, when, yeah. they're, when they're holding that paddle. And the most important thing, and the best visual we'll give people is say, imagine you had a beach ball sitting right here and you had to maneuver that paddle around that beach ball. And that's really how you want to be um, moving, moving your paddle to move yourself through the water in the kayak. 
Well, I imagine for kayaking, what we've got it made here. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better setting. Beautiful. Uh, the three rivers, the beautiful city, the mm -hmm. backdrop. Uh, what's the, so the, I guess the most popular time to be doing that is in the summer. Maybe during a Pirates game, is that big? Yeah, do people like um, to do it? To yeah, and I don't know if you've noticed, but we've had a couple of our kayakers uh, get some um, balls that have been home runs hit through into the water. Oh, so okay, they're going to get like, hit by one, no, but no, no, no. They, they've scooped them out of the water. Uh, yeah. Wow, that's yeah. a cool story. We're so the, un the unofficial scooper for those balls that get uh, hit. Yeah, because they could probably scramble and get to it that's pretty right. quickly. You are a year-round operation, mm -hmm. because I think, too, a lot of people think, well, okay, here comes the snow. That's it, I'm indoors until spring. Roll up the carpets and huddle down, huddle but down for the winter. We can still be venturing outdoors all, all around the winter. Now, and I know that you work with like some ski operations and things which might be you know, on the outskirts, but as far as like in the city, Allegheny County, what is there to do? Yeah, well, we do a lot of winter hikes um, throughout because our, our parks are beautiful. I mean, it's a it's a complete different look of a park mm -hmm. under that beautiful white snow yeah. um, versus in the summertime. We're so fortunate. I, I am a lover of the Four Seasons. So I'm, you know I'm happy to see all of the Four Seasons and live in a Because if you're summer. in a season that you don't necessarily like, it makes you appreciate all the seasons sure. even more. Right. I think to be in a climate where it's all just one season, mm -hmm. Get a little dull after yeah, a while. Yeah. But this changes it up. It yeah. does. So you can vi you can visit the parks with us um, and go on some of our hike hiking programs that are um, offered um, to learn about what's what's happening, what nature is there to see in the winter time, and there's surprisingly more than you would expect. Mm. So um, going out in the winter time with us, uh, snowshoeing is another very easy. It's kind of like kayaking. People get intimidated by it. Like how how does this work? Walking on a it's like snowshoe. A, it's is that that thing? It's like a, it looks like a tennis racket. Yeah, um, I'm going to get you out on the water. There's really nothing all right, like so getting out on a kayak out on the water. All right, so let me challenge see. you then. I am a <laughs> I am a doughy talk show host <laughs> that likes martinis and, and dresses in a tuxedo. What have, what have you got for me that uh, uh, will not exhaust me, <laughs> um, that maybe will involve food at some point? <laughs> I'm going to get you on our, let's see, our beginner paddle, or I'm going to take you out for um, a paddle and croissants. Oh, um, we have look, you, you, you have some. I, that you, I, I was sort of do the half and jest, but no. No, okay. no, no. We Cro have some croissants, right. that's, that's the bait right. to get me in there. Okay. That's right. Yeah. Paddling and croissants, that's the name of this program? Yeah, we have a, we have a croissants program that we take people Tell me more. After, after we do that. We do things like um, what we call our specialty hikes, and um, a lot of those tend to um, connect with our local establishments, uh, like our micro breweries, or we'll have a wine walk. And um, again, all of that done after, after. of course. After. That's your reward. That's that's your reward. Now, see, you really do have something for everybody. You're speaking Absolutely. my language here. Mm -hmm. This wine walk, very interesting. Yeah. So we really have no excuse. Okay. I'm I'm out of them because we, when, once you said wine walk, you had me stumped. I'm like, <laughs> all right, I kind of got to do that. Um, mm -hmm. That's wonderful. So, no martini walks yet, but maybe we can build that. Let's in. talk about right, it we're because we're really. Um, if there's an expert that you would need to consult, that's right. That's you're right. looking at them. And we offer uh, close to 800 programs a year. 800. So there's really something for everyone, honestly. Wow. Something for everyone. Have you tried everyone? We have. Yeah. You, the the wonderful and scary thing I think is that with all of this, you, if you live in Pittsburgh, you never have to leave. I like yard work. You know, I like cutting my grass. So that's that's, that's usually my venture outdoors. You know. <laughs> another to say oh I'd like to do an overnight um, that might be you know a series of 30 miles each night and, and what does that look like and how do you do that safely yeah well I think it looks like me flat on my face afterwards <laughs> is what it looks like well, I need to look into a like a jumpsuit that has like a printed tuxedo on it oh I think, yes so yes. that I can be or, um, on, on the road if you do biking you can have a bike shirt yeah Now, do your kayaks have a cup holder? 